right, welcome today. This is uh, Shoot Steel with HackingJungle.com. What we're going to do today is uh, flash a uh, BenQ drive with Jungle Flash 1.67 beta. I want to talk to you first uh, about this for, uh, software. When you download it, it'll come in a folder that'll look like that. All you do is open up the folder. Then you go to, you see this firmware folder right here? Open it up, and whenever you open it up, there'll be one single uh, uh, piece of paper in there. It'll say, place firmware here. That means, specifically, take your firmware that you download from XBins and place it in this folder. Uh, you see I have all my originals and my I extremes for the uh, the Lightons, the BenQ, Samsung, the Tachis, uh, everything inside that folder. So you put it there. And then what we're going to do is we have a our BenQ drive. We have, uh, it's hooked up right now, the SATA cable of the computer. Hooked up to the CK3 uh, Executor Pro. I'm going to go ahead and cut it on. Eject the drive. Turn the CK3 off. Place the drive slightly more than halfway in. Cut the CK3, uh, CK3 Pro on one more time. Then we're going to go back to uh, Jungle Flasher. And we're going to go ahead and uh, now start up of the program. We'll flip over to the MTK Flash 32 tab and uh, this is a non-flash uh, drive so therefore we're going to have to use the BenQ unlock button. Uh, we notice that the PBDS uh, is for the vendor and the name is a VAD 6038 so that's correct. Uh, I hit the BenQ unlock. And there it brings up the flash chip properties, and those are all proper. All I, uh, all I have to do at this point is hit read. You see it reads bank 0123. Now, after it reads uh, bank 0, 1, 2, and 3, we're gonna, it's going to come up and it's going to save as. So this is a really, really good time to save. And uh, we'll just put it on our desktop. I'm going to go up here create a new file. I'm going to call this Hacking Junk, Hack Junk Ben. Alright, now save it in there. Now, after I save it, it'll bring up this loading source, uh, BenQ firmware loaded source buffer. That's, uh, the source buffer is where, uh, we placed the firmware previously into that firmware folder. Uh, do I want to, do I wish to auto load? Yeah, uh, in this case, yes, I do. In most cases, you will too. Alright, now, we'll come up, that'll bring up the firmware tool 32 screen. And you'll see the information up here. Firmware type is stock. Uh, they, uh, with the DVD keys. Now, uh, down here, the revision will be the, uh, uh, the DVD key down here, uh, with the firmware type 1.61. Uh, at this point, I'm going to save this to file, and I'm going to put it right in that same folder. Save. Now, now we're ready to go to MTK Flash, and all I have to do is press right. And here we go. You see it's writing the bank 0, 1, 2, and 3. It's going to verify your flash. And write verified OK. At so this point, we're going to outro the drive. Uh, you're going to not want to skip this step. Outro it. And you'll notice all the information that was once here is now gone. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my drive, cut the power off, 
slam the driver shut, unplug it, ready to go. Thank you for visiting HackingJungle.com. This is Shoot Steel. I hope this helped you.